had some interest in, uh, in Texas music. And uh, we have a connection that, that goes all the way back to where I'm from in, in Wise County and Crafton, Texas. Uh, Mr. Long, who, or Mr. Love, who lives over in Mobini, as a child, I can re remember watching him play with uh, my cousin's grandfather, Patty Wilder. And it's where I developed my love of, of this instrument. One, when we were practicing this week, a lot of the kids asked, they said, well, is that a fiddle or is that a violin? And I said, well, it all depends on who's playing it. And after you hear me play, there'll be no doubt is that I'm a fiddle player. <laughs> I wanted to give just a brief background on it. Those of us in the Scotch Irish from the old part of Texas, like most of you folks, your families came up here from down in my part of the country in the cross timber. We started out in Scotland and when we got drove out of the Highland Scots, got drove out of Scotland, we took the fiddle with us to Northern Ireland, Ireland. And then we left and we come over to Walked even before it was the United States and we went south down to the Carolinas and Appalachia. And we took those old fiddle tunes with us. And as we headed west, we took them to, to Tennessee and, and Arkansas, where Mr. Schlappen's from. In the dark days of the Alamo, Davy Crockett would get out his fiddle and he'd play an old body tavern tune called Come to the Bower. The men there knew what was coming and they took great relief in, in listening to a Crockett play and, and cut up. After the fall of the Alamo, about seven or eight weeks later, when Houston was charging the Mexican lines in San Jacinto, he had a, a very small little <laughs> regimental band and they played the Crockett's old fiddle tune, Come to the Bower to remind the men of what they were fighting for. The fiddle came on up with my family up to the cross timbers and has come down through to, uh, to my generation and I hope to uh, succeeding generations. It followed the families out here to West Texas and one of the most prominent fiddle families settled down in Hall County, Texas, down between Memphis and Turkey, down between the rivers. And the old man's name was Uncle John, and he played an old tune that really impressed his little boy, Jim Robb. And when Jim Robb got grown and started his own band, he rearranged it, and he renamed it. And it's, when I think of West Texas, this is the tune that I think of. <laughs> Shelton is just, we've, we've been, this is the fourth time we played together. 
And the circumstances has dictated that we haven't got to practice together as much as we should. But the progress that this board has made is, is tremendous. We're going to play, there's a, our brand of fiddle playing here in Texas has a very unique name. It's called Texas Fiddling. And <laughs> one of the, the core tunes that uh, is, uh, is played, especially at the contest, is, uh, is breakdowns. And we're going to try to play a little old breakdown that came all the way out from Appalachia and Carolinas and Southern Virginia. It's an ancient old tune that's called Leather Bridges in the TG. Thank you. 